uh, Price, Marissimo, and Bailey. We're going to talk about our branch circuit for a log splitter. Okay. Today's 28 March 2018. Bailey? Yeah. So we're going to start off with this little outline here, so I can remember what I'm supposed to say. With the log weight slash the minimum force, which is up here, the minimum required output force, we figure that that's safe enough to lift any log we put on it. So that's what we used. Thousand pounds. Right. Yep. Exactly. Then from there, we we sized the piston, given to accommodate. Just that. We, from there, we, we determined this piston size of fiddle around with it and whatnot just to see what we liked best. And that was a, a bore diameter of 4 inches and a bore area of 12.566 inches squared. And with the piston size, we are able to calculate the minimum pressure that we wanted to have would be 80 psi. That's about as much as this needs to be able to output a force of a thousand pounds and to work to go to two thousand psi instead of eighty psi the maximum output force would be two thousand five hundred one hundred five thousand two thousand five thousand twenty five thousand one hundred and thirty two pounds and also with the piston size we're able to use a nomograph with this uh, GPM that we found so I'll get more into the theoretical speed in just a, a moment but we fiddled around and we got this GPM here which is 15 and with that and the piston size we were able to use the nomograph to figure out the pressure line size and the return line size on this which would be a dash 12 and a dash 08 yeah. cool. all right Theoretical speed. We found theoretical speed, uh, which is 4.6 inches per second. That's how fast this is moving. 4.6 inches per second by use of the piston size of this thing right up, right here, as well as the GPM. Uh, we have decided to make a scale replica of what would be out there. Uh, clearly this is what, not, what the actual branch circuit would look like, however, uh, in order to show you how it would work, this is an appropriate uh, representation of that. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Uh, as you can see, when I move the piston, the detector piston rather, it goes at a speed of about, it goes at about a speed of 4.6 inches per second, same when it comes out. This is, what, this is in, uh, in touch with what we actually calculated out there. Uh, this piston should also theoretically be able to handle this about the same amount of force, quote unquote, uh, scale replica uh, to what we have out there. Now, this in the actual branch circuit, this piston will be pushing on a kind of basket style thing where you would put the log and it would lift it, right, and it would lift it as it goes up in order to load it into the actual splitter part. Excellent. Got anything else? I think that's it. On behalf of, let me see that camera, of myself, Morissimo, and Bailey, thank you, thank you, and have a great fluid day.